Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Sign News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next NHL video. This is going to be on Ryan Lomberg, just like Nick Dow got rewarded for playing a great bottom six game by the Capitals. Lomberg gets rewarded by the Panthers, getting a total of $1.6 million for two years. That will give him a annual cap hit each year of 800 k I believe, if I did that math correctly but when it comes to Lomberg um he's just a player that plays a very good high energy bottom six game he's a guy that had to play at that energy play at a pace that it really outmatches other people because he doesn't have obviously the same toolage and recognition as a lot of other players being an undrafted guy that went by the wayside worked his way up through the minors and then didn't really pan out when he was with the um Stockton Heat or with the uh, Calgary Flames, but then he was able to get it going elsewhere. Um, when he came to the Panthers, he fit in nicely last season, and then he really is fitting in nicely this season when he already has three points in 12 games, which for him is a pretty good pace because even in the minors, um, when it came to his points total, he usually was at like 29, 28 points. So three points in 12, that's a pretty good pace for Lomberg. Um, in his career, who's a very great energizing player, a great guy that's not scared to play with physicality or scared to go in front of the net. And he's only 5'8", um, 187. So, I mean, that's not big at all. And he still goes to the grid and grind area, something that he should probably, hopefully maybe the Flyers should look at a tape of him. My Philadelphia Flyers, because not many of them do that if your name's not Zach McEwen. But off of that soapbox, Ryan Lomberg, a very good consistent in the last two years bottom six player, and he gets rewarded for it. He's a guy that seems to be emerging later as an undrafted guy, and that's not really unexpected because undrafted guys, the percentage of making is not high, but if they do, normally they're not going to be the guys that hit their prime at 23 and really emerge in the league. Then they'll probably be more than 26 ages or 27 ages. And that's exactly what Ryan Lomberg is when he is emerging and he's really coming into his own at the age of 26 this season. And he deserved that extension big time. When it comes to the organization themselves, the Panthers said of Lomberg that, let's find the quote here, Ryan has brought physicality and contagious energy to our lineup said Bill Zito. Uh, we are excited to announce that he will continue to be a part of the Panthers organization, I'm a Phantom, for years to come. And then, obviously, he's a player that is out of Ontario. <clears throat> he led the Panthers in penalty minutes in 2020 and 21, but he scored his first career, obviously, NHL goal in overtime of Game 3 of the Stanley Cup playoffs against the Lightning. Obviously, that was a very cool moment for the kid to get your first goal in that pivotal of a moment. So, Ryan Lomberg, he's been Mr. Clutch already for the Panthers. He's been a great energizer. That's a great bottom six player. And just like Nick Dow got rewarded by the Washington Capitals, got more money on the Dow end, but that's because he's a more experienced guy. Lomberg is just coming into his own the last two years and really this season. So he got rewarded by the Florida Panthers and good on them to give their bottom six guy the rewarded contract that he deserves and he's earned after having some struggling time with the Stockton um, down there in Stockton, and then when he came up to the Flames, not really getting it going at the NHL level, he's really had um, a little bit of struggle in the last couple seasons there in the Calgary organization, but then really has bounced back and emerged big time in the Florida Panthers organization, and that shows the makings of a very solid player, a guy that's able to just keep pushing and just keep fighting and scratching and clawing to be able to to get to the NHL consistently, and it seems like he's going to have that with the Florida Panthers being a great back checker, a great four checker, a great pace player, a great energizer, and a great guy that at only 5'8", five, 5'9", five, whatever, depending on what site you have lists him at, is not even afraid to be physical either. So that's a great and a hell of a player to have, a hell of a pickup by the Florida Panthers off the undrafted wire, and he continues to obviously, well, they was a pickup by them, that was the Flames, but a hell of a pickup by them getting a guy that the Flames let go, rightfully so, because he didn't really fit in well and get going with their team at all at the NHL level. 
but he does in Florida. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing here. And over at Steel Flyers, we're going to be doing the JB and Steel Sports Show that is going to have NHL coverage as well as MLB coverage as well as NFL coverage. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a great rest of your week.